Support of Sandra WikiLeaks Coalition. Matt White, thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, the support of Sandra and WikiLeaks Coalition is a small group of individuals. Uh, we meet, uh, sorry I shouldn't say small group, we're ever growing. Uh, about 20 odd of us meet regularly, every couple of weeks, to organise actions and ways to uh, raise awareness of WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. Uh, we, uh, we're fighting for the, the rights of Julian Assange to have safe passage out of the UK, uh, whether that be back to Australia or to Ecuador. Uh, uh, a lot of people know the story of Julian Assange, so I'm not going to go through all the details of that. Instead, what I'm going to focus on is PRISM. So PRISM is the, uh, the system released, uh, being used by the NSA. Uh, the NSA using this spy program to spy on not only US citizens, the target is actually everyone here, everyone around the world, citizens of the world. This PRISM system is spying on Facebook, Gmail and Skype. It's tracking every communication directly from the computer servers of these companies, Facebook, Google, Skype. These are the companies that everyone uses for their online communications, everyone. This uh, intrusion of our privacy is in addition to already filtering every bit of traffic that goes through the, through the internet. They've got wiretaps, wiretaps on the internet, on the backbones of the internet, tracking every website you visit. This PRISM system in combination can track your every move, everything you do, everything you think on the internet. On Gmail, if you make a note in your private notes for yourself, that note is in the hands of the NSA and then passed on to other governments around the world. Those private notes are your thoughts. The Attorney General's Department here in Australia has proposed similar schemes to track everyone's usage on the internet. They, they're calling it under the name of the metadata and saying, don't worry, it's just your metadata. Don't worry, we only want your metadata. But what is your metadata? Your metadata is every move you make on the internet. Everyone you send an email to, everyone they talk to on the internet, everyone that sends emails back and forth. Your search terms in the URL when you type something into Google, they know what you're searching for. If you're searching for a rash, okay, you've typed it into Google, that comes up on their computer system. Okay, then what happens with your health insurance the next day? This information has been stored on private computers as well. Not even on government computers. They're outsourcing it to private companies. It's a huge intrusion of our privacy and we have to stand up against it. In addition, the spy agency in Australia, ASIO, is exempt from privacy laws. They have direct access to these servers. They have direct access through this PRISM network Whilst in the federal parliament, they uh, weren't allowed to answer any questions. They, they just, uh, they, in Senate estimates, they played dumb and pretend they knew nothing. It's obvious, they've got information sharing agreements signed with Nicola Roxon last year with the Department of Homeland Security in the US, agreeing to share this very information. So what does this mean for activists, people here? Well, there's no point trying to do things in secret on the internet. They know that we're organising this. I had to submit a form to the police to tell them I was going to be here, that we we're going to be protesting here today. Why? They've got all that information. They've got all the emails. They've got it on Facebook. They can track it all there. They can see who's going to come. They know who said yes, who said no. Journalists, though. What does this mean for journalists and their sources? If a journalist gets an email from an anonymous source, and you, they, they might be planning to meet up in a secret cafe and wear disguises and wigs or anonymous masks, but that doesn't matter because they've got that email and they can track every email that goes to every journalist. What does this mean for the whistleblowers? Whistleblowers already aren't protected properly under the laws of countries like Australia and the US. The, the, the laws aren't adequate in Australia to protect a whistleblower from the government, but it doesn't matter because they're going to track every move they do on the internet, everything they do through Facebook, everything they do for Google, every move. So this brings me to Edward Snowden, the whistleblower for the NSA. Edward Snowden saw wrongdoings. Edward Snowden stood up for the people of the world, not just America. He's a hero to the world. He stood up to the intrusion of all our privacy. Edward Snowden released documents showing the wrongdoings of not only the US government, of all the governments working with them around the world. WikiLeaks comes into the picture here. WikiLeaks has also released wrongdoings. They're a publisher. They know how whistleblowers get treated. They, what happened to Bradley Manning? Three years in jail. 
confined into in conditions what they call uh, similar to torture by the UN Special Rapporteur. But WikiLeaks stood up with Edward Snowden and one of their staffers jumped on a plane with Edward Snowden and assisted him to leave Hong Kong. They're now assisting him, as Cassie mentioned, uh, with, with seeking asylum. But he needs our help. He needs us people, people from the internet, people here on the street today to stand up with Edward Snowden and more people to come. Edward Snowden took after Bradley Manning and saw what happened to Bradley Manning, yet he still saw wrongdoings and he said that people had to know and he shared that. Uh, the Support Assange and WikiLeaks Coalition uh, meet regulars. I said our next meetings on uh, on Monday, 6 p.m. at the University uh, uh, UTS in uh, on Broadway. Uh, we meet there at the foyer, 6 p.m. on Monday. Yeah.